Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a crash course on matrices and matrix multiplication. So the first thing that you need to know about a matrix is that it looks a little something like this. It has however so many rows, however so many columns, and there is a number in every row and column. Rows and columns can go on infinitely, <laughs> which is a little daunting, but you will probably only see matrices of up to three by three. So to multiply, we are going to take different rows and columns of each matrix and multiply them together to get a new matrix. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first row times the first column to get the first value, the value in our top left corner of our new matrix. So when we do this, we're kind of taking the dot product of these two and treating them as vectors. So we're going to take 1 times 1 plus 2 times 4 plus 3 times 3. 1 plus 8 plus 9. And that is the first value in the top left of our new matrix. To get the next value right here, we are going to multiply the first row times the second column. So we are going to do 2 times 1 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 3. And then finally to get the last value, the third value of our first row, we are going to take the first row here times the third column. We're going to do 1 times 3 plus 2 times 6 plus 3 times 1. Alright, and now that we have those values, we're going to repeat this process, but we're going to move down to this row. And so we're going to multiply this row times this column, and this row times this column, this time times this column, and continue on until we get all of the values of our new matrix. Alright, and then we can go ahead and add all of our numbers together to get our final matrix. 18, 18, 18, I didn't do that on purpose, 42, 45, 48. And then this row is the same as this row, so it'll just be the same, 18, 18. And then we are done with our matrix multiplication. Thank you so much for watching. This has actually been part of my final project for my math degree. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.